Compression of the ulnar nerve in Guyane's canal by a ganglion cyst. Guyane's canal is approximately 4 cm long. Both the ulnar nerve and artery enter the Guyane's canal. The Guyane's canal contains the ulnar nerve with its superficial sensory and deep motor branches. Under nerve compression neuropathy can occur in the Guyane's canal. The most common causes include volar ganglion cyst, which may protrude and grow and compresses the under nerve. This is an illustration that shows the Guyane's canal in relationship to the carpal tunnel. And you can see here, if you have a ganglia or a cyst, it's definitely going to compress the under nerve in this tight space. There are zones for Guyane's canal compression. Zone 1, the location of the zone is proximal bifurcation of the nerve. And the symptoms will be mixed motor and sensory. And the most common cause is a ganglion cyst and the hook of hamate. And zone 2 location is the deep motor branch. The symptoms are motor only and the causes for the compression is a ganglia and hook of hamate fractures. And zone 3 locates on the superficial sensory branch and you get sensation involvement only and the ganglion cyst does not usually play a role in zone 3. It's usually the under artery thrombosis or aneurysm that causes the compression in zone 3. Compression of the deep branch of the under nerve is important because this deep branch of the under nerve innervates all of the interosseous muscles and the third and the fourth lumbricals. It also innervates the hypothenar muscles, the adductor pollicis muscle that give you the Froman's test, and it innervates the deep head of the flexor pollicis brevis muscle. The superficial branch of the under nerve is mainly sensory and it gives innervations to the fourth and fifth fingers on the volar aspect. The patient may present with pain and parathesia in the under one and a half digits and clawing of the fourth and fifth fingers with loss of intrinsics. It normally flexes the MCP joint and extend the IP joints. In the low under nerve injury, the flexor digitorum profundus is working flexing the fourth and fifth fingers and the intrinsics are not working and this will be causing clawing of the fourth and fifth fingers. You probably will find atrophy and wasting of the first interosseous muscle. There will be weak pinch due to loss of the adductor muscle. And the Froman's test will be positive due to weakness of the adductor pollicis muscle. And here you can see how the Froman's test is done. The MRI is usually useful to evaluate the ganglion cyst and ultrasound also may be helpful, especially if you are concerned about vascular problem in this area. And if there is a ganglion cyst and you decompress it or remove it, the patient's symptoms will get better.